Bug, uh, what has your uncle told you over the years about the rivalry of, with uh, Stanford and his role in it, you know, back when he was a player here? What's he told you? Yeah, well, um, I've always grown up watching the big game, um, just, just about every year since I was a little kid. Um, he always stressed the importance of it, uh, you know, him obviously going here. Um, but, he, like, to me, to my family, it's a really big deal. Um, I would love to go out there and beat Stanford because, you know, we haven't done it in so long. And um, I know his role in it has always been a big one. He's always been a – I always hear about how great of a player he was here. Um, so, you know, it, it's definitely a big deal to me. Your uncle have a particular big game memory that he's shared with you? Um, not a particular one, but he's told me just about every time how, well, I mean, he's, he's a humble guy, definitely. Um, but um, he's always told me about how big of a role he had, had to play in each of his games because um, how much it meant to him. Like, uh, it's, this isn't any other game, as much as we'd like to say it is. Um, it's definitely a big deal, like I said. So he's um, always told me about him being amped up before the game more than ever um, and really wanting to impact the game the best he can. You've all of a sudden in the last year or so developed a fairly significant niche and, and playing an important role. When you first got here, did you have an expectation that that would happen or did you just figure I'm going to the school because that's where my family goes and, <laughs> and it's Cal and blah, blah, blah? Or, or are you surprised and pleased with how it's kind of worked out for you? Uh, I wouldn't say surprised. I mean, definitely my intention was to make an impact wherever it may be, wherever the coaches see fit. And that's kind of been my thing. Uh, more than anything is whatever the coaches need me to do, I was going to do it. Um, and that's kind of been my attitude going into the first year that I got here. And then the same way it is going into this weekend, I'm going to do whatever the coaches ask me to do. And if it happens to be uh, catch the ball, run some routes, then uh, you know I'm going to do it. Outside of last week, Stanford's defense had been had about a four-game stretch where they were playing really, really strong. Mm -hmm. What do you see that they're doing well, and, and how can you guys attack them? How do you think you guys are, are going to be able to attack them? Right. Uh, we've seen that they've really come together as a great defense. Um, I, I don't think anybody um, has doubted them, really, from uh, over here in Berkeley. But um, their defensive line has really uh, come together, getting that pass rush, and you know, that's a big part of their defense. Um, they've got some athletes on the back end as well. Um, but I, I believe that our system, our coaches have put in, is going to, I don't want to say expose, but it's going to point out some weak spots, definitely. And uh, I definitely trust Davis Webb's decision making. Um, and I know that he's going to be preparing all, all week that he can. Look, you guys were sort of humming along as an offense for about first seven weeks. Uh, last three games, haven't gotten into 30s yet, which is, you know, that was your halftime score a lot. What do you think the difference has been besides perhaps the level of competition? Yeah, I mean, we've played some really great teams here on the back end of the season, but um, it's unfortunate that we haven't been able to execute the way that we have known to do uh, this early in the season. Um, I, don't, I don't necessarily know if it's something that they're doing differently. Um, I just think that there have been plays that maybe, like myself, I, we, we haven't executed the way that we would hope. Um, but I think, I think things are going to be starting to change these uh, next two games when we you know it's getting down to crunch time. Uh, Bug, uh, looking at your, your, your guys scoring in the red zone, your guy that catches balls in the red zone, mm -hmm. uh, uh, almost a third of the scores in the red zone have been field goals. You guys haven't been able to finish. Right. Drives. There were a few uh, false start penalties on receivers. I think you had one or two mm -hmm. uh, last week. What's with those? Those. I mean, it's, is the communication? Is, is is there is there something that's going? It's a miss up there. Is there any kind of trend? Um, I don't. Know. I don't think it's miscommunication. I think we do a pretty good job uh, communicating throughout the entire team and especially the offense. Uh, but I know I can speak for myself when um, I'm saying I'm, I'm. I feel like on my penalties, I've been trying to think too much. Uh, think about what the defense is going to do, and what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do to change to try and get the best opportunity or the best uh, outcome. So, uh, just from that perspective, I I know that I'm starting to relax more, really get into it, and uh, just kind of play my game. And I I don't think uh, we'll have any more problem with that. 
a couple questions, Bug. Uh, first of all, when we talked about early in the season, the offense really carried the team, especially when the defense was having a tough day, which has happened a few times. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys feel a responsibility to uh, pick it up, and are, are you concerned that you're not you're not doing what you did and you, as an offense and you need to get it going again? And, and you also said this is sort of crunch time. You've got mm -hmm. four wins, two games to go. What, what do you, how do you look at uh, your bowl opportunity at this point? Yeah, no, we definitely feel uh, that responsibility. As the, I, I know I can speak for the offense when I say that because uh, we all got guys that are really uh, zoned in on everything. And I know that we can um, take the responsibility that we haven't been performing like we have been. Um, and definitely going into these last two games, we know what's at stake. I think um, everybody knows what's at stake. We really would like to get that bowl game opportunity. And I think we're going get to it, get it done. OK, you guys, anything else for Bug? Yeah, Bug, uh, at what point in the week do you, does it hit you that it's big game week? Like, what event, what kind of milestone in this week tells you, all right, this is, this is, is it the, the, the bonfire, is mm -hmm. the cable car rally? What, what, what gets the blood flowing for you? I mean, it's everything. Even, what, last week I was approached by uh, just some fans on the street and talking about <laughs> they were bringing up stats that I hadn't even heard before about uh, past games and things even with my uncle. And so I, I definitely already get the feeling that it's big game week. You'll see everything on campus and then how fired up the people are. So it's definitely, uh, you can definitely tell it's big game week and we're all excited about it.